Hey everybody, today we're going to show you where to find all six undiscovered treasure locations here in the Miragana Valley on the planet Toshara in Star Wars Outlaws, so let's jump into it. So our first treasure is going to be found at the abandoned cantina on the southern side of the Miragana Valley. You can see that location right here on your screen. There's a little triangle in the pathway as well as a small building that you can see right here. But we're going to start from the southern side of that building and looking at the building here, all we need to do is shoot an electric shot at the power node that's going to be on the right side to unlock the door. So you can see that right over here. We're going to go ahead and hit that. That's going to open the main door. And then we're going to go right over here to the left side where you can see this window. And we're going to use Nix to turn on the power. So we can use Nix to interact with that switch. He's going to go in there and push the button. That will turn the power on. And then we'll be able to come over here and open up this door into the back room. And right here against the wall will be a container to get your first treasure. Our second treasure is going to be located at the Bozen Mound, which is actually just behind the cantina where we picked up the first treasure. So you can see our arrow here. We're going to be starting from where we started to get the last one right in front of the cantina, except this time what we're going to do is go to the left and you're going to follow a path up the hill above the cantina. We're going to stay to the right. And then if you look to your left, just around the corner, you're going to see a really small entrance into the center of the mountain. And then at this point, all we're going to do is follow the main path all the way around the back right side. So just continue to follow this. You guys will see the dust in the back. We'll run through that. And then back here will be one single crate. You'll need to override the lock to open it up. But once you do so, you'll be able to get the second treasure. Our third treasure is found at the Daba power station and you guys can see that location here on your map. This is actually going to be just to the west of the cantina where our last two treasures were. You can see it'll be right on the side of the street here. Pretty hard to miss as it looks like a little standard gas station. But once you're here, what you want to do is go to the back right side of the building where you can see the balcony. There's going to be a ladder up top that we can drop down. Now we're going to use Nix to release the ladder. You can see the little control panel up there. This takes a couple seconds for Nix to get up there, so don't worry. It'll just take a little bit. But eventually, once he makes it up top, he will release the ladder and you can climb up to the balcony. And then once you're up top, if you look to your right, right over here against the railing, you will be able to find another container. And this container is going to have treasure number three. Our fourth treasure location is going to be found at Liar's Rest. This is actually a Nyx treasure. It's going to be found right here in the town just outside the Miragana City. I recommend starting from where you can see my arrow on the main path. It'll be pretty easy once you get over here. This is what it'll look like on the outside of the little village. But we're going to start right here where the little archway is and we're going to make our way into the little town. And what we're going to do is come right over here to this staircase we'll make our way down the stairs and then take a right and right over here you're going to see a ladder that will take us down even lower we're going to go ahead and take this ladder down to the bottom and then we'll turn around and there's going to be a spot right over here where we can grapple across so we'll go ahead and grapple over to this fence once you grab on we can drop down onto these bars and work our way around to the other side just be really careful on that platform not to fall off you saw that i almost just jumped off so just be take it slow and be pretty cautious but you're just going to follow uh, these bars all the way until you can jump up onto this platform and then once you're up top you're just going to follow the path around to the back and you're going to see a ladder over here in the corner we're going to climb that ladder up to the top and then right over here on your left hand side is going to be a little overlook above the bridge and Nyx is going to dig up the treasure that's here and then we can retrieve it. And once you go ahead and pick that up, this is going to be treasure number four. Our fifth treasure is found at the dusty sinkhole. This is going to be on the far northern side of the Miragana Valley. And as we zoom in here, you guys will see a structure that's pretty much in a circle on your map. We're going to go right in the middle here. We're going to start from the southern side of the path so that you can see what it looks like. Uh, but it looks like pretty much just a circular mound. We can actually drop down into a cave. So you'll see the entrance. There's really only one way in here. And then you can grapple all the way down into the cave. And then once you're down here, you're going to need to turn around and blast through the door or the wall. So go ahead and open up our blaster, blast this thing open. And then once we go inside and we get a little bit of light where we can see if you drop all the way down, we're just going to open the container here in the back and this will get us treasure number five. 
Now our sixth and final location is going to be found on the far, far northern side of the Maragona Valley on the edge of the map. This is going to be Smuggler Cache 54. And again, you can see we're going to be right on the edge. So just a little bit further north of our last treasure location. When you get over here, it's going to be pretty open. And this one might take you a second to find as it's hidden in the ground near a bunch of bushes. But the best tip that I can give you is when you get back here, just look towards the very tall bushes, the biggest ones that are over here and you will find the chest in the ground right next to one of them. So you can see it right here. But you can go ahead and pick this one up, and that will be your final treasure. But this is all six treasure locations here in the Miragana Valley in Star Wars Outlaws. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one.